Bedini over Unity, 18 volts. Twenty four to a fifty volt twenty amp bridge rectifier over to a meter. There's three of them. That's why there's three positives and three negatives. Okay, there's one. Two. Two on the bottom because those are output versus the one on the top left is the input. Okay, I showed it to you at 12 volts. Here it is at 18. circuit and all the wires to it just going to an 18 volt DeWalt battery the meter hooked up in line okay that's why the red lead is going to the positive on the battery okay and then on the output side there's the wire all right one side goes to the meter then the black one is in the positive, so that should tell you which direction the current is going. Found that out. A little surprised why it was, had to be reversed. Okay. There's my DD circuit. Still the same. and its bridge. That bridge goes to that coil and that bridge goes to that coil. So they're all 50 volt 25 amp bridges. That little coil up top is not hooked up at the moment. Um, not sure if I will or not. This load over here okay this is running into a dead short okay those three outputs from the bridge rectifier okay sorry to see the black okay those three alligator clips are from the bridge rectifier zip okay running into my voltmeter. Okay, right. Still on wires. And we're getting 160 plus milliamps. Okay, from the output of those three coils. Alright, now let's switch it. The volts. Okay, it starts out around 2.2, and now the whole thing is going to speed up. 
My RPM is rising because it's not running into a dead short anymore. It's going to stop for somewhere around 260 RPM. Yep, got a poor construction thing going on. My bearings are shot now. Okay, so I'm at 3.45 volts. switch it back to amps, the RPMs are going to decrease again. Input voltage drops. That's nothing new. Everybody's seen that before, whatever. It's pretty similar to my input. Plus, I got another 117 milliamps on top of that. Okay, so next thing to do is figure out how to do a cap dump. Okay, guess that tells us shows over. Thanks.